In this video, I want to introduce you to the idea of a force. So what is a force? Qualitatively, your intuition is going to do a pretty good job of informing you what a force is. A push is a force. If you pull on something, it's a force. If you hit something, it's a force. And so we're going to apply mathematics specifically to what forces are, but in the visualization stage, your intuition will serve you pretty well. Second, force is a vector. The magnitude of the vector tells you the strength of the force, but it also has a direction. I could be pulling on this object this way, or perhaps that way. Every force must have two things associated with it, two physical objects. There's an agent and an object. The agent is the one that's exerting the force, and the object is having the force applied to it. The key is that these must be physical objects. You must be able to touch them. Here's a person who's trying to pull a crate. Is a pull an agent exerting a force? No, pull is an idea. It's not a physical object. The rope is a physical object. It can be an agent, and the object is the crate. Or perhaps you are the agent that's exerting a force on the rope. You are a physical object. Let's say you throw this ball. Is the throw a physical object? No, so there is no force from throw. But you are a physical object. You exert a force on the ball. But when the ball is in the air, you are no longer attached to it. So you are no longer exerting a force on it. So every force has two things associated with it, an agent and an object. And they must be real physical objects. Next, there are two types of forces, long-range forces and not long-range forces. The only long-range force we will be considering in mechanics is gravity. Here are some other non-long-range forces. Contact force, a generic force for two objects in physical contact with each other. Tension, which is a type of force with strings, ropes, or wires. A spring force for springs and drag force, which with which we will model air resistance. The key difference between a long-range and a not-long-range force is that for every force that is not long-range, the agent and the object must be in physical contact with each other. If they are not in physical contact, and it is not gravity, there isn't a force between those two things. And if you remember that, that will help you greatly in identif correctly identifying forces. Finally, we are going to have a model for every force. A model is not an equation, but it's going to be an algorithm from which you can create equations for the specific problem you have. 